Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back into another episode of Hustle Williams and today we're going to be talking about week three on my dividend investing adventure and right now we are going to be talking about the stocks that I bought this week mostly including ARR so without further ado I'd like to say let's get into it boom All right, guys, so without further ado, we are going to be talking about my stocks and their performance over this past week. As you can see right now, over the day, I'm down a dollar and nine cents. But I'd like to tell you guys a little something new about the stocks that I went and invested in. Uh, mostly the stocks that I actually went for this week are going to be ARR, and I'm going to tell you why. What do, I, what do I personally think about them, what I've read about them, and uh, give you a little bit more insight on what my goal strategically is right now uh, moving forward with ARR. Uh, so I wanted to also say if you guys enjoy this content, if you guys like this comment or content, if you can, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. It does so much for me and I appreciate it so much. If you guys have any questions, you can drop them below. Uh, give me, you know, send me a message on Instagram, reach out to me wherever I always get back to you guys. Uh, sometimes it takes a little longer, but I usually reach out to everybody, especially if you drop a comment right on my YouTube channel, I'll also reach out to you there. All right, so with that being said, let's get into it. So first of all, my investing portfolio as it looks right now, uh, I have invested $323.97 over the day. We are down a dollar and nine cents over the week. It's 94 cents. The month it's 108. Three months, 108, and one year we are still up five dollars and 84 cents. All right. So with that being said, let's go into the stocks. I still own three shares of Bank of America Corporation, one share of Wells Fargo Corporation or Wells Fargo. Another one I own is uh, Rakuten. Uh, Rakuten seems to be borderline at where I got it right now. So that's pretty interesting. Rakuten has not been performing too well. I mean, they're all over the place. Like usually they have like a crazy graph. It's nothing really to follow. They're super hard to understand. But ARR on the other hand is a very good uh, stock that we are using. So as I was saying with ARR, right now i bought another four shares right now so i am actually up to six shares the average cost was 18 dollars 42 my equity that i have into it is 114 dollars uh portfolio diversity is at 35.60 percent my today's return i'm down 84 cents but my overall return is three dollars 49 cents so what is the main reason that i am buying uh armor residential reits right now um, there's a couple of main things that I'm looking at actually and the main thing right now is going to be their dividend yield so right now they are doing I think let me see if I can find it here it's a little above 10% uh, dividend yield right now so and their dividend is 17 cents per share so what I have found is that buying six shares at a time you are now able to get at least $1 back in return. So for every six shares that I buy as of right now, while their dividend still stays the same as 17 cents, I'm, I'm yielding back a dollar. So what I intend to keep doing with this stock, and as you can see, it's been kind of moving up in a steady pattern. So if we look over it for one day, one week, it's up uh, 31 cents, and I've been buying it since it was at $18. So all the way around over here is where I really started to buy it. It was at 18, it's probably 60 or something like that. I think 1842 is probably where I bought it at its lowest. But over the, over the time that I've bought it at 1842, it's been on a steady incline. So I plan on continuously buying these stocks at this rate right now. As we can see on their five year, their maximum was I think it was, I can't get it all the way over there. Let me see if I could try it again. It was about $27. Uh, and right now they are at about 18, $19. So that's a big dip, but I'm gonna buy low and hopefully as I keep buying these stocks, they're gonna keep increasing. 
the stock market is still doing pretty good right now. It's still on its run. So I'm hoping with fingers crossed that we can actually maintain this and keep it going. So what I really want to say about this stock is that it, even though the yield is extremely high, I'm taking a super, super big risk by investing in this stock. So my position right now is that I'm just investing for fun and I want to see if we can grow this as much as we can. I, my goal is to get to 10,000 and I'm going to keep on investing into uh, Armor Residential REIT. So I think that they are going to do better in the upcoming year. So I am going to continue to buy these stocks, especially at these low prices right now, especially when they're five year, I mean, their average is probably around like, I would have to do the math, but I think it's around, probably be around 22 or something like that. I'd have to do the math, but um, right now I still think it's pretty low in value for $19 and I'm gonna buy up as many stocks as I can. So the game plan is for right now to continuously buy uh, three shares of Armor Residential every week and continue to grow this. So for every three shares, it would be just about 50 cents per share. So now, right now my dividend yield is a dollar and two cents every single month, which is another reason that we're doing this. So over 12 months, I'll have gotten $12 back every month so far. I'll yield a dollar and two cents and then every six shares that I buy as long as the dividend yield stays around 0.17 cents I will then make a return of uh, about one dollar for every six shares so what I plan to do is continuously buy these until I reach up a certain threshold so right now I'm getting back twelve dollars a year at another six dollars uh, would be twenty four dollars a year two dollars a month and we're just going to keep reinvesting the dividend uh, back into our ARR stocks right now. So Armor Residential is a good one that I'm following right now. And right now it still seems to be moving up for the most part over the day. I mean, these are after hours. It, it went down last Friday by 0.14 cents. And over the week it's been, it's up to 19, it's up 31 cents. So I'm going to stay consistent with ARR and I'm going to keep grinding it out to uh, actually pursue this and just drive it forward. So those are my choices right now. And IBM and 3M are still doing really good. I haven't made a chance to invest in them, but I am looking to invest in them shortly in the future. Right now we're trying to uh, just get a little bit more money funded into this and just keep growing these ARR stocks until we can get enough funded in here uh, for buying power so that I can invest with IBM and 3M, but we're doing pretty good right now. We're holding at 323.97. Uh, plan on dropping at least another 50, 60 dollars into it this upcoming week on Monday, and buying three more shares of ARR. So now we'll be up to nine, which will be a dividend yield of a dollar fifty, and then after that we'll get up to two dollars. So uh, over the next course of a few weeks, we're going to try and drive this up until we reach about $10, once we reach $10, we're gonna reevaluate where we're at, uh, assess the situation, see how ARR is performing, if the stock is going up, um, things like that we should notice, um, if, if the dividend yield is continuously declining or if it's maintaining, that's another thing we wanna look at. Um, and a couple other things, maybe there's some new reports out of it, ARR, uh, the news plays a big role in stock, so we're gonna have to wait and see, but as of right now, I'm gonna hold steady on where I'm at. Um, and that's about it. Most of my stocks are pretty much underperforming right now, but if you look at these every day, it's constant changes, so that's how it goes. Um, we're just gonna keep buying them. Hopefully, most of these stocks stay undervalued and they gain over time. And uh, ARR is gonna be the way that I'm rolling this out. So as I grow this, we're gonna see and uh, let you guys know. So again, the stocks that I have are underperforming. So you can see it for the day. I am down a dollar and nine, a dollar nine today, which is not terrible for me. It's not really hurting me that much. But over the year, I am up five dollars and eighty four cents. We're gonna keep driving, trying to drive the year return up while also increasing our shares within our ARR and others as well, and then hope for the best. So 
I want to say thank you guys for staying along with me on my journey. Thank you guys for being a part of this. This is my stocks uh, dividend portfolio. And as we build this up, we're going to diversify it more. I just want to compound uh, a lot of money right now into ARR and build that up to just start bringing in some dividend income monthly until we get to a certain threshold where I feel comfortable and then we'll diversify a little bit more. But right now, ARR is my main goal and that's what I'm gonna stick with. So I wanna say thank you guys for actually checking out my channel. And if you like this content, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, it means the world to me. All right guys, thanks so much. Peace. I had to make a couple bands by my lonely. I had to make a couple bands by my